The John Morris Show, episode 105. In this episode, the fastest way to learn PHP. The John Morris Show. Your life on code. Ladies and gentlemen, John Morris. Hey everybody, welcome back to The John Morris Show on johnmorrisonline.com. Today I want to go back to the question that I had asked that had started this whole discussion that we've been going through about how to go about learning PHP. So the question was this. What if I told you I could help you to master PHP to the point you could start earning your full-time income as a developer in the next few months? What would you say? The response I get so often to this question, they go like this. There are things like, where do I sign up? I would love that. (laughs) That's why I'm here and signed up. Let's do it. I'd be so appreciative, and a whole host of other things. So it's clear to me that this is what you want. But there's a problem. What I see sitting on top of a YouTube channel that's got nearly 3 million views and 30,000 subscribers, a mailing list of nearly 20,000 developers, and a website that gets between 30 and 40,000 visitors a month, is that the way developers go about learning PHP is all wrong. And it costs you lots and lots of time. Now look, I did the exact same thing. It took me almost five years to finally get PHP down to the point that I could get paid to write it. Now that is an insane amount of time and not necessary at all. And it's because I made the same mistake that so many of you are. And the worst part is when you continually fall victim to these same mistakes, and it just keeps taking you longer and longer to get anywhere, it kills your spirit. Now, I know we don't like to talk about this stuff, but I'm sure you've had those moments where you were just so frustrated you wanted to snap your keyboard, or you were just so overwhelmed you felt like giving up on it all, or you were so disillusioned you started to wonder, am I smart enough for this? Well, I'm here to tell you that you are not the problem. Now, that's not because I want to make you feel good. It's because it just happens to be true. See, most of you have been sold a lie about how your learning path is supposed to go. You've been told that it's supposed to be hard, and you're supposed to learn this mountain of skills, and specifically for today's episode, that you're supposed to do it in this certain way. Now, hopefully yesterday's episode killed those first two, but now let me kill that third one for you. So there are three things that you need to learn PHP as fast as humanly possible. An integrated program of instruction to build real applications while you learn and a mentor to help you get over the stumbling blocks. Now, as a side note, I recently gave this exact same answer to a question on Quora and it quickly became the most upvoted answer there. With 210,000 views of my answer, 449 upvotes and virtually no one disagreeing. So developers who've been through this know that this is the fastest way to learn. So very quickly, let me show you how learning PHP following this pattern will free you up to learn as quickly as possible. So let's talk about an integrated program of instruction. So this is the big problem with free. So many developers are hung up on this notion that they should never pay a single penny for any sort of development training that it all has to be free. And the problem with that is, do you know how much free costs you? Now, I am the perfect example of this. It took me almost five years to learn PHP, and I'm convinced today that anybody could do it in about one. But let's be generous and say I invested in a course that helped me learn PHP in three years. So that's two whole extra years of getting paid to code that I could have had. Now, I have a six-figure income, so those two years literally cost me hundreds of thousands of dollars. If I could go back knowing what I know now, I'd invest in a two or three hundred dollar course in a heartbeat to get those two years. The problem with free is when you scour the internet for free tutorials, you get a loose collection of unrelated instruction that costs you time, and lots of it. But a good paid course will have a systematic approach to teaching you PHP. One lesson builds upon another, 
and they're taught by the same instructor. So there's just less gaps that are there for you to fill in on your own. So don't be afraid to invest a couple bucks on your education to get an integrated program of instruction. Because when you do, it'll save you tons of money in the long run and tons of time and frustration. In my opinion, this is the single big, biggest mistake that I see new developers make, which is to get so caught up on free. Next, to build, let's talk about building real applications while you learn. Now, if you just take courses, whether paid or free or whatever, or tutorials, and don't build anything with them, you're going to lose a lot of what you're learning. You won't retain it all. And so you're going to have to go back and relearn things, and it'll just take you longer. I did this a lot when I was learning, teaching myself PHP. But when you build real applications as you learn, the learning sticks. So you remember more of it, and ultimately your learning goes faster. So the thing to do is always make sure every new skill you learn is used as part of a of building some bigger application so that you can retain the information better. And also you can see how it fits into an overall application because at the end of the day, applications will be the things that you're gonna be building for people. So you need to know how to fit everything together. Finally, let's talk about having a mentor to help you over your stumbling blocks. Now, this was a real epiphany for me and I can remember the exact problem and the exact project that I was working on. So I had a multi-dimensional array that I'd pulled from a database and I needed to loop through that array and build a new one that I would then use in, in the rest of the application. And I really had no idea how to do it. And I, I was still fairly new, so don't laugh too much. But I fumbled with it for a few days and then I finally swallowed my pride and asked the lead developer of the team I was working on at the time, you know, what I could do. And he, in like, five minutes replied to me and sent me this three lines of code. Now, you can see there's not much to it, but those little two brackets at the end of the new array variable changed my life. <laughs> okay, so maybe that's a bit melodramatic, but that just little bit that he gave me was exactly what I needed to get over the hump and continue on with that project. And I got my answer in about 30 seconds. That day, I learned the power of having a mentor. And I imagined how much faster I could have learned PHP if I'd done something like that, if I'd had something like that available to me from the start. So find someone who knows more than you and beg, plead, pay, barter, whatever you have to do to get them to mentor you. Now, I promise you, if you do those three simple things as you learn PHP, I am convinced you will learn PHP in a fraction of the time it take you other, otherwise. And that's because I've just seen it time and time again. The people who do those things simply get where they want to go much, much faster. And so that's why I created my new PHP 101 course, to give you all three while you learn. And I believe that it is simply the fastest way to learn PHP. You can enroll in the course at johnmorrisonline.com slash php, and I highly encourage you to do so. All right, everybody, thanks for listening to this episode. If you liked it, be sure to like it so that I know that you like this kind of content. If you know somebody who could benefit from this, I'd appreciate it if you'd share it with them. And if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe so that you never miss an episode. Thanks again for watching, and we'll talk to you next time.